Today we will take you through your Nano Brew in a Basket system, how to assemble and how to brew your first beer. To assemble, first take your Nano Quick Seal bore valve. Your bore valve comes with two silicon seals and one hose valve. Thread your hose valve into the Quick Seal bore valve. Place one silicon seal onto the back end of the quick seal ball valve. Insert the quick seal ball valve into the bottom centre hole of your nano brewery kettle. From the inside of the kettle, place the second silicon seal onto the ball valve. Now with the supplied flange fitting, thread this onto the ball valve and hand tighten. You will be supplied with two times kettle plug sets. Unthread the hex nut from the first kettle plug. Insert the kettle plug into the centre hole of your nano brewery kettle. From the inside of the kettle, thread the hex nut onto the kettle plug. Take your second plug set and remove hex nut. Insert hex nut into the top right hand hole of your nano brewery kettle. Again, thread the hex nut back onto the kettle plug. Now take your thermo well and unassemble the components. From the inside of the kettle, place a silicon seal onto the thermo well and insert into the bottom right hole of your kettle. From the outside of the kettle, place a silicon seal and washer onto the thermo well. Now thread on your hex nut and thermo well cover. To install element, place your silicon seal onto your element and insert into the triclover welded port. Using the supplied triclover clamp, secure in place and tighten your clamp. At this point, you can conduct a leak test to check all areas are watertight. If there are any leaks, tighten your fittings to stop the leak. Now it's time to brew. Ensure your ball valve is closed and let's get brewing. Fill your kettle with the appropriate amount of water according to your recipe. Your nano brewery kettle has etch volume markings to make this easy. Once filled, lower your basket into your kettle. With the supply temperature controller, insert the probe into the thermo well. Plug the element power cable into the heat side of your temperature controller.
If the temperature controller plugged in, set your desired temperature according to your recipe. Refer to the supply controller instructions for further details on this. Once you have reached your desired temperature, it's time to add your grains. Slowly pour in your grain at intervals, with mixing in between to ensure you remove all lumps out of the grain. Place your lid back on your kettle and leave for the required mashing time according to your recipe. At the end of your mashing time, it's time to raise the basket and begin your sparging process. Have your preheated water ready in a separate pot or dedicated Nano HLT kettle. Slowly pour your sparge water over the top of the grain bed. It helps to use your mash paddle to evenly distribute your sparge water over the mash bed. Once you have completed sparging, remove the basket from the kettle. Set your controller to 100 degrees and wait for your wort to reach boiling. Once boiling, it's time to add your hop additions according to your recipe. When the boiling process is complete, turn off power to your element and either begin chilling or no chill cubing. In this video, we are conducting the no chill method. To begin, attach some sanitized silicon line to your hose barb and transfer the wort into your pre-sanitized cube. Once your wort is transferred and your cube is sealed, it's time to clean. First give your kettle a good rinse to remove as much solid material as you can. Empty this initial rinse and begin to refill your kettle until you're one to two inches above the element. Heat to between 40 to 60 degrees and turn off element. Dose with an appropriate amount of brewery detergent and mix to dissolve. Using heat resistant gloves and a non-abrasive sponge, scrub your kettle to remove all solid material. Once solid material is removed, empty this solution and give the kettle a final rinse. At times, your element may need further cleaning. Simply remove the element and allow to soak in brewery cleaner solution overnight. To clean your basket, invert upside down and rinse to remove all remaining grain from the basket. Once equipment is air dried, store away appropriately for your next brew day.